Hello, my name is Laiva Batla, and tonight I would like to talk to you about the idea surrounding your connections with others. Now, I remember a day I sat down with my childhood friend one evening on one of our normal playdates to watch a movie, and the movie we watched was this. And the only thing I remember from watching High School Musical was that I did not enjoy the movie. Gasp, I know, I know. And I think the reason why my seven-year-old self thought of this movie in such a negative way was because one, I despise musicals since everybody randomly breaks into song, and two, it just wasn't reality. It didn't mimic the situations I was going through in elementary school and in life in general. I couldn't randomly break into song about how little friends I had or how none of them were genuinely nice to me in the middle of recess. And when it came to the end of the school year, it was never a happy ending. It was more of a relief to not be able to see my bullies for a couple of months. Truthfully, I don't even remember the true purpose behind the one High School Musical movie I watched. And after that play date, I never watched a single High School Musical movie ever again. From what I know, High School Musical was supposed to be this movie about the expectations of what high school is supposed to look like. It was supposed to be this place where, you, where you, everyone belonged and where the only sort of stress anyone felt was the stress of having the idealistic day at school and looking tip top and only having to annotate for expectations versus reality rather than actually dealing with it in real life. Where's my Troy? I really wish this is how life could be. But then again, it just isn't reality. Ew, did I just rhyme? I guess High School Musical is rubbing off on me. Now I want each and every one of you to think back in a time in your life when you're approaching a new situation with an expectation of how it was going to play out already formed in your head. This could be the first day of work or school, a vacation that you had planned for months, something as small as gifting a present that you thought would be perfect for someone. Did that expectation not match the reality of your situation? Did that situation leave you feeling underwhelmed or empty? If you answered no, then you must have a great and amazing life, and I'm super jealous. I think you should be casted for the next High School Musical. But if you answered yes, then you're not alone, because every single day I wake up, you wake up, and we have these presumptions of what our day is going to look like. And when it doesn't go the way we want it to, we feel awful, and it sucks. On the other hand, though, sometimes we're approaching a new and ambitious situation where we don't know what to expect, and often we think the worst about them. Like the time I thought I was going to get lost on the high school campus my first day of freshman year. My single thought the summer before freshman year was how am I, a short 13-year-old who actually looks more like a fifth grader, going to get across this gigantic campus without getting lost amidst 2,000 plus students? Well, the answer to that fear is that everything went fine. I got to all my classes on time, even made some new friends. Overall, it was an amazing day. In the end, it comes down to two very simple but personal choices. The actions you take that shape your reality either revolve around agony or optimism. And those actions not only affect you, but your surroundings and the connections you create with others. Which leads me to the idea that belonging can exist in two forms, physical and spiritual. Now the physical belongings are the inanimate objects that we hold that create memories and hold those memories forever. This could be a small figurine, a glass vase, a small picture frame, anything that holds some sort of sentimental value. These are objects you let no one else touch. On the other hand, spiritual belonging lies within the comfort of your surroundings. This is how you resonate with others. Even though these two definitions of belonging seem to have completely different meanings, they do have one thing in common, memories. And those memories that lie within the physical belongings help instill a sense of spiritual belonging within you and your surroundings. For me, this was a high school musical themed basketball. Yes, I know, high school musical. But it wasn't because I liked high school musical that I bought this basketball, it was because my mother chose it for me. This one basketball helped create memories and instill a sense of comfort with my surroundings, being at the park on the weekends with my dad, who taught me how to shoot my first basket. Good or bad, these memories are what help instill a sense of comfort with your surroundings and are what shape your reality. High School Musical seems like the perfect environment that we all wish we had. The smile, the song, the hop in our step, but it's the true happiness and moments that stem from physical and spiritual belongings that must be cherished. And that means that what shapes your reality is completely independent from what shapes mine. 
I know that me standing here right now delivering this message is my reality and a burden that I abide by for you to realize the shadows that you have been standing under. Live in the moment with the people that you belong with the most and the people that you cherish your moments with. Don't live in the false expectations that society, media, or even you create for yourself because those are all just a result of your brilliant mindful of imagination. In the end, belonging is this overarching idea of connectedness that we feel with one another that helps shape our reality and the view of the world as we see it today. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much.